Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to Board Slinger. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how the Board Slinger works and some of its features. So, the Board Slinger is a sling belt. So, it wraps around your waist as a belt when you're not using it as a sling. The padded sections sit on your hips or around above your hips, and you don't really notice you're wearing it. It's nice and comfortable. These padded sections are very comfortable and it's easy to adjust like this into a sling. Now just clip these together again pull on the ends of the strapping and the board slinger sits like this as a sling. One pad sitting on the shoulder the other around the back and what that does is it helps to support the, the weight of the board or the skis when you're using it as a sling. So it's nice and comfortable around the waist or as a sling. You won't notice the weight of your board or your skis. It uh, features these two inch buckles, which are nice and big, good strong plastic, and they adjust really quickly. And after they adjust, they don't let go. So there's this one big buckle in the front and two matching buckles at the back. So these two buckles uh, wrap around your snowboard or your skis. So again, you just unclip it, stretch it out, wrap it around the skis or the board, and pull it tight. Again, once it's wrapped in fairly tight, it doesn't let go. So there's two of those matching uh, buckles and straps to attach your snowboard or your skis. On the back, it also features a sort of a, an adjustable back strap. So if it's set like this, I can just move these adjustments. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than the other, uh, than the front adjustments, but I can quickly, fairly quickly, I can adjust it to a different size. So this kind of adjustment you want to do before you head out. So you make the board slinger, you know, more to your size, but again, it's not going to give. It's designed not to give. So you can adjust it a little bit at the back and a whole lot at the front. So it's designed again to wrap around your waist and over your body like that. Um, another small feature of the board slingers has these loops. These loops are great for attaching carabiners. They just, you just wrap them through the loop like that, and the carabiner's attached. You can attach anything you need to to that. Um, and one last thing is the, this strap here. Now this is a, this strap is on one side of the board slinger. It's just designed to help you if you're doing a sort of a longer climb. It can if you're doing a longer climb, you set this up, and it actually gives you a little bit more support on the, uh, under the arm. So you just wrap it under the arm and clip it in here and just pull on the end here. And what it'll do is just kind of help to keep the board slinger with the weight of the snowboard from twisting a little bit. But you usually don't need it. It's only if you're going to be doing a longer climb, and, you know the board's bouncing around a bit, but otherwise you won't need it. Like I said, the, uh, or as you can see, these clips don't let go. So you don't really have to worry that your board slinger is going to slip, let go and, you know, let the board go or let the skis go. It doesn't really happen, but it's there just in case. And uh, that's pretty much the board slinger. Uh, another neat thing, if you if you find, are these this kind of a uh, waterproof case. So you can attach some of these waterproof cases to the uh, to the strapping. And this one's got Velcro, and it attaches fairly easily. And you can carry your cell phone or a small camera and it doesn't interfere at all with your board slinger. You just throw it on. You just um, attach the camera case 
and again, pull on the board slinger, and it'll fit around your waist like that. And then you have access to your phone or your camera or whatever. So look out for those, for cameras or phones, and have a great time boarding. Thank you very much.